They're having a hard time staying together. But there are 32 of these little guys. And each one is actually three different pages that I've sewn and glued together. So 32 of those. And then I have two covers. So I need to make sure I have enough thread. So normally I'd run it up another length of the book, but I probably need to use about that much per station. But look, it's about that much anyway. So here's how I'm gonna measure. I'm just gonna run it between these. So one, two, three, four, five. And then tie a knot. I think it's a square knot. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, it's already getting kind of crazy up in here. Okay, so I got those three. Hey, not so bad. All right. If you're wondering about the needles and how I'm keeping these separate, I have no better solution at this time. You'll have to forgive the scraps on the floor. So here's my needles and they're actually in the cushion of my chair. So as long as I don't, you know, get up or bump them, I'm okay. I have yet to figure out a better solution. This is just what that has worked for me so far. Make them a little bit shorter, that'll be easier. Okay, so I'm on the back side. I'm on the back side of the board, and I gotta go around the board like this and come in. There we go. And I'm going to end up on the left side of that thread. Pull him out. The first time I ever did this um, on my visual journal that I recently sewed together is I sweated so much and I held my breath, but it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. I got my tie off, I went around the outside of the board, came through the hole, and then the thread exited between the front, the first sheet, and the inside of that cover on the left-hand side. And I'm going to snug this up, push him over, and tighten him up. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each of my threads. So there's one, he's out of the way. Next step, I have this one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go from the outside. Pull him in, and then this right here, 
here's my thread. I'm gonna go between these two, but I'm gonna stay the left side of my thread. So there it is, and pull them out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick him to the left. That thread came out. You can see he's already there, but it's not tight. I went ahead and stuck the needle into my chair so it's out of the way. And now I'm just pulling a loose thread and I got that one in the way. Let's see if this is working. Okay, so I did it. So as you can see right here, it I went around the outside of the board, came up through the hole, then placed the thread between the cover and that first sheet and exited between the two of them on the left hand side. And then I'm gonna pull this one tight. That is number two. Sweet. Now what we're gonna do, this thread is the last one. I'm going to go around the outside of my cover push him in, and then I need to exit from the inside. It's got to go between, whoop, between the cover and this first page, but stay on the left side of that thread. So put that, and I bump my camera, and then I'm going to pull him. Go ahead and put this needle in my seat to get it out of the way as I pull the rest of this thread. To the left side so now I have put on my first page they're not knotted they're not threaded correctly onto the second page they are just looped around to secure the cover I slip them a little bit but I'm just gonna make sure he's nice and straight okay dokie now for my next step I'm going to I have it it's on that side I'm gonna link under both threads on the sheet my own little focus and link under both of them. You see that right there? I'm linking under both of these threads on the sheet from the left to the right. And I'm going to pull it. Oop, I think I'm caught on my shoe. Welcome to my life of bookbinding. I have threads going everywhere and something's always caught on something else. So I'm under for both of them and now I'm going to go ahead and set on this next sheet. I recommend getting Keith Smith's book binding books because he does a great job with diagrams and explanations much more so than I could ever do and I would be lost without having his books worth every every penny. Okay, so see what's happening. I've linked under those. Now I'm setting on my next sheet. Right here. Here we go. So my next sheet is on. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm reading the book as I go, step by step. So I got that. Now I have to go back in and do the other threads. So I placed that one in my cushion, draped the thread over my knee out of the way, and I'm going to my next, my next one. So I have my needle, I'm ready for this next one. Now I have to catch both of these guys right here. So I'm catching them with my needle. That's both of these little threads. And make sure I didn't go through it. Nope, I didn't. Okay, I'm good to go. And I'm gonna pull him. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him all the way. So I know that I don't have any slack and that beeswax. I had this, this thread really waxy and so it is catching and I do not mind the sound. Right. Now I'm gonna go down through the top of this next sheet and I'm going to exit, make sure, is that the hole that I want? I guess it is. Yep. I'm gonna go through the hole and I'm going to exit Went through the hole and I'm going to exit on the left hand side of this thread. So here we go again. And this other thread is liking me. Oh, they want to link together. Number two is on there. 
So I'm going to check this one out right here and I'm going to put my needle in right here. I want to catch both of those threads. So I'm catching both of them. Going ahead and pulling that. Oh, that beeswax wants to grab it on it. Okay, I got them, linked them. Now I'm going to go up and around. And I go through this and then come down. Let's go ahead and get him through the page. And then I'm going to come down on the left side of that thread. So here I am. I have stuck it through the top of the page. And now I'm going to come down through the left hand side. And I'm going to pull them. Stick the needle in the chair. And that way I can just worry about the thread and not about this needle. I have lost so many needles on the floor and found them later, so I'm kind of paranoid about that. All right, so now I'm gonna tighten these little guys up. This is where it's a little bit different than what some of the videos I've watched, but I like his method of doing this. So I'm pulling to the left. Hey. Oh yeah. left. So it's a link stitch and it goes around that top one. Now I'm going to drop down two below and I'm going to link under everybody. So I'm going to link under that. I've gone down two sheets below and now I'm going to link under everybody. And so this is what it looks like. So I went around that, and then I went down two below, linked on everybody, and so now that first sheet has a link around it. Tighten him up. So I'm linking between the board and that first sheet. Number two. I am first going to go, I came out on the left on the second one. I'm going to go around this part, do a link stitch and pull it. Now that I got that part, pull it taut, apparently not tight. I'm probably pulling it too tight. I'm going to go around the between the cover and that first page. I'm dropping down two. See, it's coming around. I'm linking these two right here. And I'm going to pull it. I'm going to go ahead and stick this needle in my seat to get him out of the way. If I made a mistake, I will just go back and I will pull it out and I'll do this again. So there we are. There's this one. And let's open it up and see what I got. Oh my goodness, I did it. Okay, I'm going to this next one. And I'm going to pull him top. Now I'm going to, I have this, and here we go again. I'm gonna link around this, whoop, this way, and pull it. And go ahead and get that out of the way. He's calling the corner, I'll fix that little part, whoop. It's all right, not the end of the world. So I have that, now I gotta go down. Going down one, one, two, right here, and I had that thread in the way. Oop, you're okay. And I'm gonna link around there. Sometimes a rainbow thread gets me. Okay, now I have made all my links. So check it out. There's my first ones. And they look pretty good. Okay, next sheet. I'm going to go back to my first thread right here, and I'm going to take my next sheet, and I'm going to go around to this back side of the sheet, if I can figure out where I put the hole in there. All right, pull it through, 
and I'm gonna pull them. Voila, I'm going down, looks like to the left side, right here. So I'm gonna do this now for every thread. I'll have to fix his little feather after it's done. So I got this right here. I'm gonna go through the hole right there. Coming out that. And I'm going on the left. <laughs> Coming out the inside, I'm going to the left of that. Get these out of the way so I can make sure I stay on the left side of that. So I went ahead and put my needle in the seat and that way it's out of the way. So as I pulled it out, it's on the left hand side. And I'm gonna go ahead, I haven't linked or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for each of my threads. This is what it looks like so far. I still have this third one to go. I will adjust and straighten in just a minute, but for now, I'm more worried about linking around this. I will adjust and straighten in just a minute, but for now, I'm more concerned with going ahead and looping around that. So I have this, I'm going through the top. More time, coming out, and I'm gonna get my needle out. It's amazing how this thread likes to cling to anything and everything it comes in contact with. Going on the left-hand side, like that. I'm on the left-hand side again, so now you can see it's got that loop nice, and the sheet is attached, but there is no linking done yet. There's nothing happening other than it's looped around from the back side to the front between the two stations, um, coming, coming out on the left-hand side. And I'm now going to go back in, and I'm gonna straighten everybody up. I'm gonna pull it taut, but not too tight. In my case, it's probably gonna be tight. And now I'm ready to do my links. I'm gonna start with my first thread again. I pulled it. Now I'm going to link around. I'm going counterclockwise and I'm going ahead. Oop, I pulled my needle off. It's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. And that way it is there we go. Voila. I have linked it around this one counterclockwise, and these little guys just want to get in the way. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going down two positions. Now, this time, instead of going down between the cover again, this is where I've gotten confused before. I go down one page. So, I'm going down this one. I'm going down this one and then I'm going to stick it between these two the first page and that second one so to make sure I'm doing this I'm actually going to open this up and I didn't think about when I put these together that all the little pages stuck together as one page it could be a little confusing so I got my link like so I pulled it tight now I'm gonna go down between these two guys I'm not gonna catch those threads you can see it going in between them right there, and if I'm really worried about it, I can open up and see, right there. And I'm going around, it's gonna come out the other side. I'm down between the first sheet and that second one, and I'm going to pull them. Boy, this rainbow thread is pretty going through there. Voila, stick my needle, stick my needle in my chair, and there we go, so it made the stitch. Okay, this next one, there we go. I'm going to link it like this. So you can really see the link stitch really good. I'm gonna pull it tight, taunt. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna go down two positions. 
gonna open up my page that way I know where I'm going. So there's one page and then there's two pages. So I'm going down between that first page and the second page. Pull on my needle. It's gonna come out between them and I'm gonna go ahead and put him all the way. And just to be safe, so I don't lose my needle again, I'm going to stick it into my chair as I pull my thread. There we go. And there's that one. So it's making these nice little teardrop shapes as we go for this last one. From here on out, after I do the stitch, it goes ahead and repeats. So I'm linking around like this and I'm pulling. Oop, I got caught on the corner. You see the link stitch really good. And now that I got this, I'm going down between that first page. So instead of going between the cover this time, there's one page, two page. I'm going to link between these two. Stick my needle in, you see on the other way. Try not to catch the two threads and I'm gonna pull it. In this case, it comes out right on this side. There we go. So now they're all looking pretty good. All of them have that nice teardrop shape. There we go. <laughs> that board feather is just beat up. Now from here on out, as I grab this next page and position him to go ahead and go, it's like that, it's gonna be up and over, link, down two. Up and over, link, down two. Up and over, link, down two. So this is the same. Once you get the third page on, it is the same from then on out. So everything is the same until that final sheet. So same thing, I'm gonna take the final sheet and I'm gonna set it down and I'm gonna climb on the right, exit on the left, just like normal. And I'm going to do this for every thread. Oops, I bumped my camera. There's one. Same thing, climb on the right, pull it through and then I'm going to exit on the left side oop, of each of these threads. Exiting on the left hand side just like normal. Oop, I'm going to go over there. There we go. Like that. On the right hand side put the needle in to the other side of the page and then stick it through on the left of my thread and pull it. So this is just like every other sheet that we've done. Like that. And now I'm gonna snug them all up. Okay, now we're good to go. Here's where things get a little different. Now after I have tightened these strings, I'm going to go counterclockwise and pull that first string. Make sure it's tight, pull it snug, and then I'm going to set on the board, enter from the top to the inside, and I'm going to pull my needle through the board. I'm going to exit on the left-hand side. So I'm always going to the left. like so. Then I'm going to link the stitch on the board. I'm going to go counterclockwise again. I'm going to tighten it up. So I'm going to go down three positions. So the board and then one sheet and now there's two sheets from the left and I'm going to come up and 
Okay, so now I'm going to close these two sheets, but I'm going to leave the board open. So I'm going to go on the right side of the station, poke my needle through. So I'm coming up here. So I'm exiting to the left and I'm going to adjust the tension of my threads. There we go. Like that. So now I've linked from the inside of the cover. I'm going to drop down to the left to positions. So the board plus this last final sheet. And I'm linking under. Now I'm closing that final sheet and I'm going to go back between the two right here. Stations have been worn. Okay. Like that. So now I'm right here. I'm going to go through this station right here. That final one. Like that. And now, so, okay, and I'm going to do it again. And because I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to cut my thread. Okay, there's one done. Woohoo! Okay, so one down, two to go. Here we go again. I'm going to enter the board from the top. I'm going to exit on the left. To the left of this first station. Like that. And it's catching all over the place. Now, I need to link this stitch counterclockwise just like I did every other sheet. Just like that. So now I'm going to drop down three positions. The board is one position, then there's two positions. And there's three. There we go. I got it. I'm going from the left down this side. And I'm going to tighten it up. Close the two sheets, but leave the cover open. Okay. Climb on the right side of the station. So I'm climbing on the right. I'm poking it back through. And I'm going to go on the other side of this one. Now, I gotta go down two positions. So, the board and this final sheet. And I'm going to link under from the left. Like 
and I'm going to pull it. Now I'm going to close the final sheet and I'm going to leave the cover open. I'm going to climb on the right side, taking the thread to the inside on the right. Now I'm going to go back through the station on the final sheet. So I'm going to go through this one right here. Almost done. I'm so close to being done. So close to being done. Okay. So last one. This is my last one. So I have it. There I go. Two out of the three are done. And I'm moving on to this last one. Okay. I'm gonna go into the cover. I can get them in into the cover pull them and I'm going to exit on the left hand side of the thread just like that now I'm gonna open up the board the book drop down to the left for three positions so that's the first position this last page is the second position, and then the next to last page, if I can get it open, is that third position. And if you're wondering if you get stuck, you can see the other links in there. So it should be, there's one position, two positions, three positions. I'm going to go from the left. We've always been going from the left. We're going to still go from the left. Oop. Always going from the left. Okay. And I'm pulling it tight ish. Now I'm going to close two sheets, but I'm going to leave the cover open. I'm going to come from the right hand side, link up between the board and the final sheet. So basically, all this is is I'm just going around this and pulling it back out. There you go, just like that. Okay, now I'm just going to go down two positions. So the cover, there's one in this last sheet. And I'm going to link under between the two of them. All right, from the left. And now I'm going to go back up. Right here, like that. And I'm going to go a last one. It's a little weird because it's on the edge like so. There we go. And then do another half hitch. from somebody who doesn't like to sew. <laughs> I'm actually kind of proud of this. All right. Ooh. Okay. There it is. I'm tied off. Covers on. Okay, here we go. Now I am tied off right there and the cover is on and there it is. Oh my goodness, best book for this. Oh my goodness, highly recommend it. Definitely worth the money. And I got this off Amazon.
This was a little bit of a labor of love and learning how to sew with my sewing machine.